Hey everyone, welcome to the special Thursday podcast for Hope For Our Times. Listen, I felt like it was time to update you on some things. Obviously, when you look at this week, there's some very strange news. A lot of bad news, and these mandates just keep coming. They are off the charts. But at the same time, there are incredible things to watch. There seems to be some type of an awakening that is taking place. And in a sense, it's, it's really remarkable. We're going to go there in, in just a minute. I want you to think of this, though. In, in, in uh, Mark chapter 13, Jesus is talking about the tribulation that's coming, the abomination of desolation. It, it's in this context of the Olivet Discourse. You read that in Matthew 24, Luke 21, Mark 13. Think of this. Jesus says this in Matthew 13, verse 22. In the Olivet Discourse, tribulation is going to come, uh, since hasn't been since the beginning of time, nor ever shall be again. Then he says this in verse 22. For false Christs and false prophets will rise and show signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. Listen, be warned. If possible, it's not possible for the elect to be deceived. So understand that. But Jesus is saying the deception is going to be so great that so many people are going to be deceived on both sides of the aisle. And then Jesus says this, but take heed. See, I have told you all things beforehand. He's told us beforehand how things are going to go down. Listen, understand this. Listen, you own your body. Listen, and the schools don't. Listen, it's your body. The government doesn't own it. The schools don't own it. The, your employer doesn't own it. None of those things. Uh, it, it's understanding where we are in the current situation that we are in in this world. You look at everything. Start looking across the board at what is happening. And people are saying, you know what? I have had a whole, I've, I've had enough of all of this nonsense. But there's, this just continues to be good news because this is where it's going. Uh, people are rising up you got to wonder if there's an awakening going on. Listen to this last one I want to share with you. Check it out. Got to hear this. This is the last one I'm going to share with you. Here it is. More than 100 Ohio clergy tell Biden there's no king but King Jesus over the mandates. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I'm going to put this together right now. Okay, you ready? This is what Jesus said. Be careful in that day that nobody deceives you. If it's possible, even the elect would be deceived. And then he says, behold, I've warned you. I've told you beforehand. I want you to think of this. We're watching this resistance build. People are ticked off all over the world. It is growing. It is growing. It is growing. It is growing. What's going to happen if it builds so much that these globalists who keep trying to lump more of their garbage, ridiculous things that we all know are lies and absurdities upon us, what happens if this all gets flipped on its head and suddenly they get shut down? And suddenly we have a leader that just looks like they've got all of the answers and people are cheering. We got our freedoms back. We got this back. We're not putting up with that nonsense anymore. We have won the victory. Guess what's going to happen? Everybody's going to be in joy. Everybody's guard's going to be down. They're going to go, woohoo. What if people start going to jail because of all these things that are going on? You want to know what? I'm going to caution you. Beware that no one deceives you. If it were possible, even the elect would be deceived. On the left, on the right, the deception is going to be great. If this whole thing flips on its head, and all of a sudden, the, the resistance wins, man, we need to be very careful. Remember what that last article said. There is no king but King Jesus. Don't turn to the left. Don't turn to the right. Stay focused on the Lord Jesus Christ. Be strong in the Lord, because I have a feeling this stuff is about ready to flip. I see the climate laws coming. I don't know. That may be coming along to lock us down even further. We'll talk more about that later, but it's a possibility this thing could go either way. In the meantime, remember, there's no king but King Jesus.